Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over voltage for series resistors, or of course, resistors <clears throat> in series. And here is the circuit we're going to use. We have three resistors in series, a nine, excuse me, number one is a five, and two is a nine, three is a seven, and we have a nine 12 volt battery. And we want to be able to talk a little bit in general about how this, conceptually how the voltage works for series resistors, and then we're actually going to calculate the voltage and see if we can make it all fit together, okay, like it should, of course. Okay, so this is the way it works. When we talk about the voltage, the voltage is being carried by the current. The voltage is the energy, 12 joules. You have a 12-volt battery. That means the current is going to have 12 joules of electric potential energy or 12 joules per coulomb. Let's not get too hung up on what coulombs are and joules are. Let's just say that um, the electrons, the current, has 12 joules or 12 volts of energy. Now, when the current goes through the resistors, the current is going to give up some of its, or the resistor is going to use some of the energy, so the current is going to lose some energy, so the energy goes down. That's why I have negative V here, minus V. Then the current it has less, it's the same current, but it has less energy. It's going to go through the second resistor, it's going to lose some more energy, and it's going to go through the third resistor, and it's going to lose some more energy. So the current is remaining the same, but the amount of energy it has okay, stay as uh, is decreasing. The number of electrons per second stays the same, but the energy that they have goes down. And in fact, when they come back to the battery, they always have zero energy. So they've given all their energy up to those resistors or to the circuit. And that tells you that the voltage of the battery is equal to the sum of the voltage drops from each of the resistors. So we say the sum of the, usually we say the sum of the voltage drops across each resistor is equal to the gain from the battery. We say this is the gain because the electrons get energy from the battery, the voltage drop, we call this the drop in voltage across each resistor, the drop in voltage across number two, the drop in voltage across number three. You can also say the change in electric potential energy or the change in voltage. But the sum of the changes across the voltage, across the resistors is equal to the energy of the battery or the voltage of the battery. Okay, and we sum that up like this. The sum of the voltage drops across the resistors is equal to the voltage of the battery. Said that already. Okay, <clears throat> now we're actually going to go through and see if we can figure that out and see if that actually works. So here's the circuit. I left the diagram like that. And we're going to use Ohm's law, V equals I times R. And we're going to remember that the voltage, the total voltage, Vt is the same thing as Vb. This is the voltage gain, the total voltage gain is equal to the voltage drops. And we're going to calculate the voltage drops for each resistor. And we're going to use Ohm's law, V equals I times R. Now, we're solving for the voltage across the resistor, not for this 12. We want to know. That's why I have 1, 1, and 1. We use the voltage. If we want to solve for the voltage across number 1, we use the current through number 1, and we use the resistance of number 1. Now, in a previous video, we calculated the current through this series circuit, and we said that the current is the same anywhere. So we calculated, and the actual current through each resistor is 0 0.57 amps. Okay, it's pretty easy to do that. The current is V divided by R. The voltage is 12. The total resistance of a series circuit, this is 21 ohms. You take 12 divided by 21, and you get the current is 0 0.57. So we're not doing current in this video, but the current through each resistor is the same, especially for, not especially, but that's the way it works for series resistors resistors in series. So we calculate the voltage drop. We started with 12. That means it drops by 2.86 volts when the current goes through resistor number one. We do that for number two. Same thing. Same current, different resistance. It drops by 5.14 volts. We do that again. Same current, different resistance, 0.57 times 7, because this is a 7 ohm resistor, we get 4. Those are the voltage drops. This is the voltage gain. This is the rule right here. The sum of the drops has to equal the total gain. So we add these up. We get 12 volts. And those two numbers match. And that makes us feel good, like we did that right. And I think we did. So um, that's really all there is to it. Okay? That's the current excuse me, that's voltage for series resistors. The sum of the, the, sum of the drops 
That's what these are. S equal to gain. The gain is 12. Those all equal 12. So that works out. Okay? So thanks for watching. Okay? Keep track of all your numbers, your voltages, your currents. Make sure you're using the right voltages and the right currents. That's why I always put on here 111, 222, 333, you know, just to keep it all straight in your head. And uh, you go step by step. I think you can do that. Okay, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, uh, you can give me a thumbs up or a good comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day. We will see you in the next video.